Hey guys, I uh, was talking to a subscriber and friend the other day and we were discussing wild edibles and one of the things that came up was determining on whether or not something is um, safe to eat or not safe to eat and without that you know if you don't have like a book or pictures or, you know, or a mentor or you know locals or something like that to go you know based on it's a good idea to understand the process of determining whether or not something is edible or not edible and that's just called the universal edibility test now the universal edibility test you know breaks down into step by steps on what you need to do when you first harvest your edible plant and what steps you need to take in order to, to determine whether or not that plant is edible or not. So let's talk a little bit about what we're going to do in order to determine whether or not a wild edible is edible. So down here I have actually picked everybody knows this. It's in everybody's yard. Now let's say, for example, that you don't, you've never eaten one of these or read anything about it. How do you determine whether or not this is edible? First thing that you're going to need to remember is before you perform this test, you need to be working on an empty stomach. So keep that in mind. Um, when you first harvest this plant, it's going to be in you know several different parts. You know, you're going to have a, a, you know, the root system, you're going to have the stems, the leaves, and of course, the flower. Each one of those parts need to be tested individually, and they also need to be tested how you intend on cooking it or preparing it. Okay, so let's, let's say that I am going to determine whether or not this dandelion is safe to eat raw, first thing that I'm going to do is figure out which section of the plant that I am going to, you know, want to test. So let's say that I want to test the leafy area. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch off just a little bit, okay, and I'm actually going to put that in the crook of my arm. We're going to leave it there for about 15 minutes. And after 15 minutes, that usually is enough time for somebody that, um, well, not for anybody really, to develop small bumps or an irritation or itching, you know, things of that nature if it is toxic. So let's say that 15 minutes has gone by, we open our arm, and there is no indication on whether, you know, whether there is, there's no indication basically of this plant being, you know, poisonous or anything like this at this time. So the next thing you're going to do is we're going to take a pinch of it. We're going to put it right up against our lips. Okay. We're going to hold it in between our lips for roughly three minutes or so. During that time is what we're going to be looking for or trying to feel is a burning sensation or an itching sensation, anything of that nature. If you feel any itching, any burning or anything like that, disregard. Don't go any further. So let's say that we've done that and you know we didn't feel any itching, we didn't feel any burning you know, or anything like that. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to take that pinch we're going to put it in our mouth. Now, I'm going to stick it right there underneath, underneath my tongue and I'm going to let that sit there underneath my tongue for about 15 minutes. And again, we're looking for any kind of irritation inside the mouth, you know, burning, itching, anything of that nature. Okay? Now, after that 15 minutes, take that piece or another piece and I'm going to put it 
in my mouth. I'm gonna chew it. Okay? Just chew it up. A couple minutes. Again, we're trying to feel for any burning, itching, any sensations like that. If nothing occurs, swallow it. Now at this point, like I said, we're wanting we're wanting to be working on an empty stomach. Okay? It's okay to drink water, but that's really about it. Drink your water, don't eat anything else, don't drink anything else besides water. Let this sit for about eight hours. Okay. If there has been no effects, you know, no nausea, no headaches, no dizziness, nothing of that nature, then it's we can start to assume that it is safe to eat this plant, but we're going to take it just a little bit further. At this point, we're going to take more of it. And we're going to eat more of it. Eat up to about a quarter cup. Again, eat it, swallow it down. Don't eat anything else, don't drink anything else. Let it sit for about eight hours, and we're going to check for nausea, you know, vomiting, things of that nature. After that eight hours, if, you know, there's still any sign, then you can assume that it is safe to eat the leafy section of that plant. Now, that is not talking. About the stem section or anything else that was just covering the leafy section okay nor was that covering the plant or the flower section we need to repeat that process for each part of the plant we also need to repeat that process for different you know preppers if we're going to prepare it any differently whether or not we're going to boil it cook it you know anything like that eat it raw Take your time, find out whether or not that plant is edible. Now, one of the things that I do want to mention is when you're searching for wild edibles, a lot of people love mushrooms. Be safe, guys. If you find a mushroom, take my advice, don't eat it. Too many people have thought that they positively identified a particular mushroom, ate it, and they never woke up in the morning. So don't take the chance on mushrooms. Not outside. Okay? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you see something that you prefer to to do differently than what I showed you, let me know. I'd love to hear it. Talk to you guys later.